Welcome to The Mobile Producer, your guide on how to make music anywhere you want and how to make it faster and easier than ever before. My name is Benji, and in this video we'll be covering how to play the keyboard for GarageBand on iOS. It's all killer and no filler. Let's get into it. Using the keyboard touch instrument, you can play different keyboards, including grand piano, electric piano, organ, clavinet, and synthesizer by tapping the keys. You can choose a keyboard sound, move higher or lower on the keyboard, hold notes, and change the keyboard layout and size. Some keyboards include controls for pitch bend, modulation, velocity, and other sound parameters. Alchemy synth sounds have an extended set of controls that you can use to customize the sound. You can now use the chord strips, previously available on the smart keyboard, with all keyboard sounds to play chords, bass notes, and comping patterns. Tap the name of the sound near the top of the screen, then tap the sound you want to play. You can also swipe left or right to change to the previous or next sound. To view keyboard sounds in a different category, tap one of the category names. To play higher or lower on the keyboard, tap the octave up or octave down button to move up or down by octaves. Tap the reset middle button to return to the middle range of the keyboard. The number on the button shows the current octave transposition. While you are playing the keyboard, the areas to the left of the lowest key and to the right of the highest key also produce sound when tapped. To hold notes longer, touch and hold the sustain control as you play. You can also drag the sustain control right to lock it on. Organ sounds have a rotation switch in place of the sustain control. To change the keyboard layout and size, tap the keyboard button, then tap the single or double row keyboard to change the layout. Tap the keyboard button, then tap the small, medium, or large size keyboard to change the size. Some keyboard sounds, including synthesizers and clavs, have pitch bend and modulation wheels in the control area. You can use these to bend notes or change the character of the sound as you play the keyboard. Drag the pitch bend wheel, labeled pitch, up or down to bend the pitch of notes as you play. Drag the modulation wheel, labeled mod, up or down to change the sound of the keyboard. Modulation can add vibrato, resonance, or other changes to the sound. Increasing the touch sensitivity makes notes sound louder or softer depending on how hard you tap the keys. First, tap the keyboard button and turn the velocity on. Next, pinch the two ends of the velocity bar apart to increase the sensitivity range or together to decrease the range. Finally, drag the velocity bar up or down to move the sensitivity range. You can control the keyboard in different ways by swiping left or right across the keys. By default, swiping horizontally plays notes on the keyboard smoothly. You can change the swiping behavior using the button marked glissando. To move higher or lower on the keyboard by swiping across the keys, tap the button until it says scroll. To return to the default behavior, tap the button until it says glissando. Some instruments, particularly synths, have a third setting called portamento. For these instruments to slide smoothly between notes, tap the button until it says pitch. Some keyboard sounds, including electric piano, synthesizer, and organ, include knobs and other controls you can use to change the sound while you play. When available, the knobs are located on the right of the control area, with labels showing the sound parameters they control. When you record the keyboard, any movements to the controls are also recorded. Turn the knobs while you play the keyboard, and listen to how the sound changes. Alchemy synth sounds include additional parameter knobs, the transform pad, and XY pads. You can view the Alchemy synth controls by swiping the control area left or right. Alchemy synth sounds are available on iPhone 6, iPad Air 2, iPad Mini 4, and later devices. The transform pad has eight sections called snapshots. These represent a group of settings for the sound of the instrument. You can adjust the sound by tapping a snapshot or dragging the rectangular framing box between snapshots. When the framing box is over one snapshot, you hear the sound of that snapshot. When the framing box partially covers multiple snapshots, the sound of those snapshots is transformed to create a new sound. The amount that each covered snapshot contributes to the sound is determined by how much of the framing box covers the snapshot. 
Tap a snapshot to place the framing box over it. Drag the framing box so that it partially covers the snapshots. Tap the gyro control button above the keyboard and tilt your device to move the framing box. You can also adjust the sound by dragging the pucks on the two XY pads. The movement of the pucks changes the values of the parameters assigned to the X and Y axes of each pad. Organ keyboard sounds include drawbars on the left side of the control area. Drawbars let you quickly change the sound of the organ by adjusting the relative volume of different harmonics or stops. The drawbars are arranged left to right from lower to higher stops. Dragging a drawbar down increases the volume of its harmonic, while dragging it up decreases the volume of its harmonic. You can also control the speed of the rotating speaker effect using the rotation switch. To make the speaker rotate faster or slower, drag the rotation switch right or left. To play the keyboard using a particular scale, tap the scale button, then tap the scale you want to play. After you choose a scale, the keyboard changes to show note bars rather than keys. Tap the bars to play the notes of the scale. The keyboard touch instrument includes an arpeggiator. When you turn on the arpeggiator, chords you play on the keyboard are arpeggiated, or played one note at a time rather than simultaneously. Note, the arpeggiator is not available for Alchemy Synth Sounds listed under Arpeggiated. Tap the Arpeggiator button, then tap the Run switch. When you turn on the arpeggiator, other controls appear below the Run switch, letting you set direction, note value, and a range of arpeggiated notes. Tap Note Order, then choose the direction of the arpeggiated notes. Tap Note Rate, then choose the note value for arpeggiated notes based on the tempo of the song. Tap the up or down arrow for octave range to set how many octaves the arpeggio covers. When the arpeggiator is turned on, the sustain control becomes a latch control. If you touch and hold, or lock the latch control, the current arpeggio keeps playing. Tapping a different key transposes the current arpeggio to start on the tap note. To play the keyboard using chord strips, tap the chord strips button to view the chord strips. Tap here to choose a keyboard sound. Turn here to choose an autoplay pattern. These segments play chords higher or lower, while these segments play bass notes. To play chords or bass notes with chord strips, do one of the following. Tap one of the five upper segments of a chord strip to play chords higher or lower. Tap one of the three lower segments of a chord strip to play a bass note or sets of bass notes. Tap an upper and a lower segment at the same time to play chords and bass notes together. You can add your own custom chords to play. To play comping patterns, first turn the autoplay knob to one of the numbered positions. Next, tap a segment of one of the chord strips. The upper segments, showing the chord names, play chords and bass notes together. The middle segments play chords only. Tapping with two or three fingers plays variations of the pattern. The lower segments play bass notes only. Finally, tap the segments again to stop the pattern playing. Chord strips for monophonic keyboard sounds are not divided into segments. Turn the autoplay knob to select a pattern that plays when you tap the chord strips. Tapping a different chord strips plays the same pattern with the notes of that chord. To save your own custom sounds, first, modify an existing keyboard sound by adjusting the keyboard controls. Next, tap the name of the keyboard sound near the top of the screen, then tap save. Type a name for your custom sound, then tap Done. The first time you save a custom sound, a new custom category appears. You can rename or delete the sound by tapping Edit, then tapping the icon to rename the sound, or the red circle to delete the sound. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We just learned all about how to play the keyboard on GarageBand for iOS. I want to know, what's your favorite things about GarageBand? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you love making music on your mobile device like I do, or you're just looking to learn more about it, then please click subscribe below for free weekly tutorials on the latest mobile music apps. Thanks again for watching.